We've had children attend school in Alberg are voicing frustrations with the Grand Isle Supervisory Union's special education services. This comes after the Alberg School Board passed a unanimous vote of no confidence earlier this week in the union's superintendent and its director of student support services. Well, ABC 22's Matt Holderman joins us live in the studio with a look at what parents and board members are saying this evening. Matt? Well, Mike, the chair of Alberg School Board says their vote of no confidence came after months of faculty members pleading with supervisory union uh, members to fill a vacant special educator position, but not seeing enough progress or effort being made to do that. However, one parent I spoke with says they lost confidence in the supervisory union's special education services long before this year's staffing issue. Everything was really good up until maybe the last three or four years, honestly. Tara Bassett from Alberg says she wasn't too surprised this week when she heard the Alberg School Board passed a vote of no confidence in the Grand Isle Supervisory Union's Superintendent Michael Clark and Director of Student Support Services Nick DeVita. I think it had been a long time coming. Bassett has a son and a daughter who both went to school at the K-8 through Alberg Community Education Center and are now high school students at Bellows Free Academy in St. Albans. She says both of them have been on individualized education plans or IEPs for years now to help them succeed, but Bassett says she noticed something was off when her daughter started high school. She was at the beginning of the school year failing all of her classes. Teachers are emailing saying she needs help in this area, this area, and I was like, well, where's her IEP? And they're like, we don't have one. After doing some digging, Bassett says she found out the Grand Isle Supervisory Union never transferred her daughter's IEP to her new school. She says she reached out to Clark and DeVita to solve the problem, but didn't receive much help. I kind of got the runaround and they put it off on BFA. It's very disappointing to see that they did not want to support my child. They just wanted to make excuses. That's how I felt as a parent. Alberg School Board Chair Michael Savage says his board's vote of no contact confidence in Clark and DeVita is centered on similar issues where children in Alberg aren't receiving the services they need and they don't see much being done to change that. Parents were not being informed that their children were not being given services at the school. There were no solutions being offered up. Just you know, we're, we're trying, but it is what it is kind of a thing. Superintendent Clark has responded to the claims, saying there have been cases where IEPs were not met due to staffing issues, but that faculty and his administrators are doing the best they can. And Clark also says the supervisory union will work with families on solutions until they can hire more special educators. As for Bissette and her kids, who are still connected to the supervisory union through their IEPs, she just wants to see all children get the education and support they deserve. Live in the studio, Matt Holderman, ABC 22 News. And now, Matt, let's return.